Kurt. Are you all right? Yes. Better than ever. You cannot even imagine how much I hated that piece of filth. What did he do to you? As you may have guessed, I suffered the same treatment as Rainer. The only difference is that I survived, and there's even more. Believe me, I'm glad that these memories went up in flames along with that bastard. Thank you, Green Blood. Thank you for helping me as I go through all this. I'll never forget it. Are you ready to put our plan against the Mother Cardinal in motion? Remind me of the outline of your plan, Father. You will have to take part in a fight in the arena, and we must make sure that the odds are high. To do this, you'll have to face a champion. This will lure her in. That would effectively raise the odds, but the risk is they'll bet against me. That may be the case. But the highest bets are based on the exact time of the defeat. I see. We are going to make the Mother Cardinal believe that I will lose at a specific time. And by doing so, you'll win something bigger than a fight. This will make her lose a considerable amount. 
Exactly. I've even taken measures to make sure her usual money lender is unavailable. Without knowing it, she will come to me looking for gold in order to place her bet. And she will be at our mercy. Is this how you settle scores in Teleme? This is how all scores are settled, my child. Or on the battlefield. But that's much dirtier. So, what do you say? It's a complicated plan, but an effective one. Let's put it in motion. Let's go back to the St. Matthias bookmaker. Your skills seem to interest him. What can I pour for you? Give me a bottle of your best. There you go. But be careful. She's got a strong bite. What can I pour for you? Manfred, the quartermaster of the barracks, told me about your supply problems. And he sends you? Damn. I didn't think a legger would act in person, but it's nice to see that our problems are taken seriously. I'll explain. Alcohol has been scarce in New Serene for quite some time. Our suppliers in the town are constantly victims of theft, to the point that they're no longer able to supply taverns. I could have managed if my monthly delivery from the continent had arrived as planned, but customs seized my goods. Did they give you a reason? Conservative seizure. They said, time to check that everything is in order. And now they tell me that they can't return my goods because they've been stolen. Can you believe it? If even customs are getting robbed, what hope do we have? Huh. This is all rather suspicious. Don't worry. I'll go and see these customs officers and get this cleared up. Customs Officer Alric. What can I do for you? Desarde, I'm the legate of the Merchant Congregation. I've been told of some issues with customs. I would like some clarification. I'm listening, Your Excellency. I was told that a shipment from the continent bound for the tavern had been seized as a precautionary measure. Uh, yes, it's possible. We seize cargo sometimes to verify that all taxes to the town have been paid. Randomly? Without a prior formal order? I... No, I, I don't know. Perhaps we received a complaint. That happens sometimes. I suppose all entries are noted in your records. Naturally. But I assure you that we only do our job. It was all routine. I was informed that Customs was robbed. Yes, these thieves have quite the nerve. Someone even stole personal belongings this time. Since then, I've put all important things in the chest, but I lost the key. Probably on my way here. Let me summarize. You have confiscated some goods, perhaps because of a report, but you're not sure. Then that same cargo was stolen from you, along with other things in your custody. Uh, exactly, Your Excellency. 
You are either the worst customs officer I've met or the biggest liar. Listen, Your Excellency, I made a mistake. It's true, I, I should not have ordered this seizure. In fact, it was late and... Uh, counting the crates would have taken me hours. I decided to postpone it. In the meantime, the goods were stolen. It's unfortunate, but I'm not useless. You haven't even informed the authorities of this robbery. This is all rather suspicious, Officer Auric. So I think it's necessary to conduct this inspection with a search. I... Please, Your Excellency. I'm sure the contents of this chest would be very informative. Maybe we should go to the docks to see if we could find the key that this scatterbrain has lost. So, were you satisfied with your inspection, sire? Listen, it's obvious you're in trouble and you're hiding something from me. Since I'm compassionate, I'll offer you this little... ...in the hope that it loosens your tongue. It's a nice sum that could free me from a lot of debt. But I am trapped. And it's been like this for months. I am forced to pull off all kinds of tricks in order to settle an old debt. Egon. Yes, sir. Either I do what he says, or I lose my children. I've already paid off my debt a hundredfold, but he maintains his hold over me. And now I have no choice but to obey when he asks me to divert larger shares of cargo. Could you help me identify him? I'd like to, but I've never met him. He gives me his instructions in writing, or sends his men. I plan to put an end to this individual's activities, so anything you can tell me will be useful. I hope you manage it, Your Excellency, for the sake of my children. Maybe you could come to the meeting he's arranged tonight. Do you think he will come in person? I don't know. This is the first time I've received a notice like this. I fear he'll punish me for arousing the innkeeper's suspicions. He doesn't let anything get past him, you know. Very well, I will come. If only to avoid you paying the price for your stupidity. Thank you, Your Excellency. I'll meet you at the North Gate in the evening. No offense to our new friend. I'm not sure this Egon will come in person. I'd be surprised if he'd bother moving just to lecture a small fry in his business. There you are. Are you ready? Yes, let's go. We have a meeting next to the quarry. As we are early, we should be the first to arrive. Perfect. I'll hide until they get here. He will certainly not come alone. I beg you, don't wait to intervene if things go wrong. Be confident. I won't abandon you. You should get in position. He'll be here soon.
My friend! Glad to see you! Because you owe us some explanations, don't you? I... Sir, let, let me explain. I, I wanted to do well. I, I was just a little rushed and... Silence, fool! Not only have you been so clumsy with your handling that the quartermaster was informed, but in addition, you dared to plot with his legate, a noble that has already cost us dearly. Do you no longer love your children, Alric? You want us to get rid of them? Is that it? No, Mr. Egon, I beg you! Don't hurt them! I didn't have a choice. The legate came for an inspection, but I didn't tell him anything. I swear! It's a shame, Alric. Egon loved you. But we'll replace you with someone else soon enough. Someone smarter. Get rid of him. I don't want to hear from this little roach any longer. As for me, I'm leaving for Hikmet. Try to be discreet. This legate doesn't seem willing to let go. This poor man trusted us. We should go to his rescue. If we're going to help him, we will probably lose track of our man. Let's go to Hikmet. If everything revolves around alcohol smuggling, I'm sure we'll find something out in the tavern. The valley is vast. We should get to a vantage point if we want to find this expedition.
the enlightened protect me in this battle. I need a bit of practice.
Hello. Can I get you anything? Why don't you have much to drink? Our supplies are dry, and deliveries are slow. I'm terribly sorry. This is the first time that this has happened to us. But it's the problem of living on an island. We depend on the boats, even if some are better than others. What do you mean? Nothing important. In the last few days, I've met several completely drunk savages. They stumble around town, barely able to stand. I swear to you, it's awful. Strange, indeed. Islanders don't exactly appreciate hickmen. So why would they come here to get drunk? Do you remember where you saw them? It wasn't too far from the tavern, but I don't spend much time in those neighborhoods. What do you want? Oh, I don't feel well. I haven't seen many islanders in Hikmet, especially not totally drunk ones. Lions are not so bad. So, is that all you wanted to say? Siora. Nastuka Vabel. You have let the Renagze poison you, and now you have lost your way. Go home to your people. Amant. Your Donegad will know how to take care of you. Where did you get the alcohol from? Someone gave me it in the strange house at the town entrance. They call it the dispensary. They say it's a place where they take care of you. But the only thing they take care of is thirst. <laughs> There's a bold irony who says he's called Captain. He's the boss of that house. A dispensary where alcohol is distributed to the islanders. What for? This is not the first time lions have used this tactic. By giving this poison to my people, they weaken us. They make us docile and stupid. Come closer! Come closer! All my wares are in the vanguard of progress. Coin guards, obviously from the Egon gang. On your way. There's nothing for a highness here. As for you, savage, if you're looking for something to drink, go to my colleague over there. What? How dare you? I see. Thanks for the advice. On your way. There's no... As for you... What? I... On your way. There's nothing for a highness here. As for you, savage. What? I see. There's nothing for a highness here. As for you. What? I see.
may be enlightened. Protect me in this battle. Found it, Daria. Yeah. I'm a dead and done. We're shadowing down oh. our enemies. Protect me, sir. If you're steering. This is the man we saw at the quarry. We must stop him. Maybe the enlightened protect me in this battle. Found it, Ara. Give it to them, May the shadow engulf our enemies. Accused of. We saw you order the death of the customs officer Alric. You are responsible for his death. You are heading for the gallows. Unless you give us information about your criminal organization. I won't say a word. I won't give you anyone. I'd rather die. If you really thought so, we would not be talking. You will be taken to New Serene. Manfred will know how to make you talk.
Our man escaped us. Maybe there is still time to save Alric. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? Was the captain we arrested transferred to you? Yes. And we began to question him. It appears that he was paid by Governor Buren. The governor tasked him with weakening the natives as much as possible in order to muzzle the rebellion. They were trying to poison the natives with alcohol, but they needed a lot to do it. Their entire smuggling operation revolved around that. Did you contact the governor? Yes. He sent us a letter apologizing, saying he didn't know he was dealing with criminals. His letter was accompanied by a letter of Mark to compensate the merchants who suffered in this case. Which doesn't mean that he will abandon these despicable methods. Is there any news on Egon? We're no longer certain it's even a person. Even though that name might refer to the organization, someone must be leading it. And that's who we have to stop. Alas, for now, the captain doesn't want to tell us any more. So the interrogation continues. We're waiting for answers on that point. I need your help in another case. I'm listening. The Admiral sent us a furiously worded letter. One of their ships was commandeered by our troops. They accused the San Mateus garrison. But I know Herbert is quartermaster. He's an honest man. I'm not saying that the Admiral is lying to us, but I don't understand what could have happened. Whatever the case may be, the Admiral is threatening to refuse all transportation to our men. This will not only hurt the Guard, but also all the nations that employ us. We need someone diplomatic, able to piece this whole story together. Can I count on you? Yes. I will go see Admiral Cabral and try to understand what happened. Sir, good people. The cure and work. Are your boots worn through? Your Excellency, it is an honor. You have come at the right time, Your Excellency. I am in a delicate situation, and your help would be invaluable. I'm listening, Admiral. Captain Reuben warned me that he suspected a member of his crew of being a spy. It is almost certain she sent secret navigation information to foreigners. Why ask me to take care of it? This is a very serious accusation. One that results in a member of the Guild being expelled. The Norts are like a family, very connected, but also likely to carry resentment. I think an external view is required to be certain that there will be no bias. Anyway, their ship is anchored at New Serene. Your authority will allow you to get more answers than us. I see. What is the exact nature of the information that could have been sent? It's up to you to find out. But all the Norts know how we navigate our ships. 
You've seen the techniques we use, and you know we want to keep them secret. I agree. Where can I find Captain Reuben? At the port in your town. You know his ship. It was Captain Vasco's before he landed. I'm counting on you, Your Excellency. We must shed light on this case. Manfred, the quartermaster of New Serene Garrison, told me that he'd received a letter from you. Was one of your ships hijacked by the guard? The Trident and its crew were commandeered by the San Mateus Garrison. <laughs> commandeered? We will not let ourselves be threatened by these land pirates. The guard has no idea who it is dealing with. I've already sent several of our warships to board the Trident and release its crew. The guards taken on board shall be given no quarter. I understand, Admiral. But Quartermaster Manfred was as surprised as you to hear this news. That's why he asked me to investigate. The guard never gave the order for such an operation. So these mercenaries do not even know how to manage their men? Remarkable. We will not deal with the guard until Manfred cleans up his ranks. No more of these hireling thugs will set foot on my ships. The nobles will just have to do without their bodyguards. I will tell them, Admiral. And know that I am fully aware of the problems that caused this act of piracy. Not only for the Guard, but for all the nations on this island. I will do everything to find those responsible. Thank you, Your Excellency. I will eagerly await your news. Anything else? I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. The Admiral knows that we can't do anything without the force of the Guard. By prohibiting them from transport, she is putting everyone at risk, leaving us to take care of the problem. It's blocked. Feast for the eyes, ladies and gentlemen.
And what can I do for you? Quartermaster Manfred sent me. I was expecting such a visit. And I'm glad Manfred sent an external investigator. This commandeering business may just spell the end of the guard. Without the Nord's transport, we are finished. I don't understand what could have happened. I can assure you that we have never issued an order to that effect. <laughs> it's as if some members of the Guard obey others' commands. We had trouble with a criminal organization within the Guard. I wouldn't be surprised if they were behind this matter once again. Oh, this is terrible news, Your Excellency. How can we sort the good apples from the bad? By speaking to those in charge of those in command of this town. And trying to unravel the truth from the lies. Since you neutralized Major Herman and his gang, Three lieutenants have been leading the troops, while waiting for a new senior officer to be appointed. They are Lieutenants Alexander, Klaus, and Ermelind. Do you think they're honorable? I won't vouch for them, if that's what you're asking. I, I don't know them well enough. Thank you, Quartermaster. I'll go and find them. Hello, Lieutenant. My name is De Sarde. Oh, you are the legate of the congregation. You're quite the celebrity amongst our ranks. I am Lieutenant Alexander. Did you need me? I'm conducting an investigation into the illegal commandeering of the ship, the Trident. We must work fast and find out who organized this act of piracy. Or, we will all pay the price. Do you know the men who seized the ship and who they served under? All I can tell you, Your Excellency, is that I'm sure they were not under my orders. As foolish as it sounds, we don't know the identity of the soldiers involved. Since our previous commander's coup attempt, there's been tremendous upheaval. We lack senior officers, the registers are not up to date, and many men are on the run. I suspect the supporters of the coup who escaped the trial may be responsible. It's not impossible. I dealt with Major Herman, who was serving Commander Torsten, but I didn't take care of his men. It's only an idea, of course, but one that seems most logical to me. I'll leave you, Lieutenant. Hello. I am... 
Desade, Legate of the Merchant Congregation, right? Nice to meet you, Your Excellency. Lieutenant Ermeland, at your service. Well, I didn't know I was so famous. Can you tell me anything about the ship that was commandeered by the guards? A complete act of piracy, if you want my opinion. Do you know who these guards were and under which officer they served? No, and no soldier is missing here as far as I know. This is very strange. But since the commander's attempted coup, everything has gone to hell here. Men start muttering as soon as we have our backs turned. Some recruits have suffered violence, but refuse to name their attackers. Do you think something is going on? It seems obvious to me that some people took advantage of this unrest to line their own pockets. Mm, I see. Thank you. I'll leave you to it. Farewell, Lieutenant. Your Excellency, if you really want to know what's going on in this barracks, find me tonight near the church. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? Quiet. No one must know that I spoke to you. I am Sergeant Franz, and I'm prepared to help you. Don't forget the church tonight. Hello, Lieutenant. Desarde, Legate of the Merchant Congregation. Lieutenant Klaus, what can I do for you, Your Excellency? I'm investigating the illegal commandeering of a nought ship that took place here in San Mateus. Do you happen to know the men responsible and the officer they served under? I'm sorry, Your Excellency, but I don't know. I only took office in this city two weeks ago. I'm just getting to know my troops. I was sent here to remedy the lack of officers following the arrest of the commander's men. Are you sure that this commandeering is not the isolated act of a few homesick recruits? Not totally sure, but it's very unlikely. Managing the crew of a nought ship requires great numbers and organization. I see. Well, in that case, sorry for not being more useful. Farewell, Lieutenant. The Lieutenant's interrogation produced nothing. This sergeant is our only lead. Good day. Welcome. You here to wager? To fight? I want to challenge the champion of the arena. A champion? Really? Now, you were asking about Candy Cane. It wouldn't be him that sent you here by any chance. No, no one has sent me. I'm looking to make a reputation for myself. Ah. That sounds better. It's true, you have talent, and the public does like you. Let me think. There is Briscard, one of our old champions. It's been a while since he fought, but he did ask me to set something up for him. He's not a youngster anymore, but his name is known. And he's a killer, I'm warning you. This Briscard sounds like the perfect opponent. A deal! I'll work on getting things ready for the combat and line up the betting. Until then, make sure you're ready. It'll be a duel. Your friends will need to stay in their seats. As soon as you're ready, you'll just need to go and see the arena master. We should go and see Candy Cane, so he can set up our deal. So when you win, she will lose her bet. Good day. Welcome. You here to wager? To fight? I must be going. Next.
I wasn't sure you'd come. That will be understandable. It's better to be wary with Egon. What do you know about this organization? More than I would like. I'm part of it. Now ask me any questions you want. We don't have much time. If you're part of this organization, why did you want to talk to me? I joined this gang some time ago, without realizing the extent of their power. I naively thought that it would only be a matter of completing a few small secret protection missions. But I found myself involved in a sordid business with the Young Islanders. We captured them to sell them as slaves. They're very popular in brothels. I participated for a long time without batting an eye, but I ended up bonding with one of the captured islanders. And the horror of this trafficking has finally hit home. I don't want it to happen to her. Who took possession of the ship? And for what purpose? Soldiers from the garrisons, members of Egon's organization. The boat was supposed to be used to transport the island captives to the mainland. Someone must have had enough of only being able to move a few slaves at a time, hidden in the holes. Now they've pulled this big stunt, they've not only attracted the wrath of the Noughts, but also your attention. Egon would never have made such a mistake, and they'll make the fool who did suffer dearly. Do you know who Egon is? Or at least who runs this organization? No. Everything is very compartmentalized. Each group knows only its direct superior, never the one above. Not only do I not know the big boss, but I don't know anything about his other activities. Do you know who Egon is? Or at least who... No, no only... Do and who gives you your orders? Lieutenant Ermelin. That woman is ruthless. After the business with the ship, she decided to make a clean sweep, probably to avoid the wrath of Egon. She told us that we had to get rid of the islanders we still held captive. She wants to clean up behind us to avoid leaving any trace. My friend is among them. If I can't find a way to stop Ermelind, she will die. If we want to prevent this massacre, we will have to intervene quickly. Where are the islanders held captive? They're kept in a former logging facility, on the outskirts of town. Is it well guarded? No. Numbers are small to avoid arousing suspicion. But when Ermelin comes with her troops to get rid of the young people, it'll be a very different story. Well, we'll take control of the operation before that happens, by getting rid of the guards. When Ermelin and her soldiers come, we will use the element of surprise to neutralize them. With all due respect, there will be many. Are you sure you'll be able to face them? We could ask for help from one of the native clans. The Storm Warriors, for example. Do you think they would? If it only involved us, I doubt it. But it's about saving their own young people. They'll also be able to give them shelter when we free them. We will need to act quickly. I fear Ermelin will take action any moment now. I'll go get help in Vedluk as soon as possible and take care of the operation. Thank you. I'll arrange to be appointed as the scout for Ermelin's squad. That way I can let you know when we arrive. We should go to Vedlu. Let me accompany you. Derdra is always suspicious. I could help you convince her.
may be in this place. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Ah, you are from the continent, are you not? You are different than the people from here. Delighted to see you again, Sister Ephesia. Father Petrus, is that really you? What are you doing here? Merely a courtesy call. How might I help you? How has your mission fared up until now, sister? Not very well, I'm afraid. I haven't been able to get much from these villagers. Their chief and their... priest are evasive when questioned. As for the other natives, their behavior can be quite odd. They'll spend hours just staring into the void. But as soon as I come close, they chase me away. They frighten me, I must admit. There is a heavy veil of evil here. I feel it, but I'm not able to find from whence it comes. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. Anything else? Have you been here for a long time? Since the beginning of my investigation. A few weeks, perhaps, although it feels like months. I'm not particularly fond of the wild, and I find this place unsettling. I see. Anything else? That will be all, Sister Ephesia. Thank you. Welcome in my home. Ver tir tu mad, on all menawi. I am Derdra, daughter of Enora, daughter of Rowena, mal of this clan. Is it you who helped my warriors discover what the men of the Red Sun were doing? Indeed. Then I thank you. It's probably because you are an on all menawi that you are different from the other Renaixe. What do you seek? I have come to ask for your help, Derdra. A group of guards captured young natives and turned them into slaves. But now they want to get rid of them to avoid drawing attention to themselves. I want to free them and stop these guards. But we will need support from warriors. Who is to say this is not a trap? Siora. Derdra, my friend doesn't lie. If you do not help us, these Bordirni who imprisoned our brothers will get away. We must not only free those who are captive, but also stop those who have harmed them. Hmm. You have strange friends, daughter of Bladnid. But I trust you. Tell me more, Renaixe. The prisoners are in a former logging facility near San Mateus. I know where it is. The Renaixe massacred the forest there. We will get rid of the guards there, and release the prisoners. But if any soldiers are sent to kill them thereafter, can we rely on you to intervene? I will send you my two best warriors. I can't give you any more right now. They will find you where the forest has suffered. Anything more? Can you tell me something about your beliefs? We believe that we are part of an everything. 
and that life depends on a balance that comes from this everything. Our strength is drawn from that which we protect. All that surrounds us, and that which surrounds us feeds and protects us in return. What can you tell me about your rituals? Ah, I oh, have heard this question before. You sound like the mind shaker woman. The rituals are the business of the Donegada, not of the Renoixe. Anything more? Concerning this story about a cult. Enough! Enough questions. I have nothing more to say. What do you seek? Concerning this story about a cult. Enough! Enough! Good day. Are you the wise man of this village? Burd tir du mud, Renaixe. Oi and the Donegad, yes. I would like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. The people of your island are constantly asking questions, yet reject any answers that displease them. Questions have no value when one already claims to know the answers. But. It is your case. You believe you know the answers. You seek only their echo. Answer your own questions. At least then the answers will please you, and we shall be done with your foolishness. That is not what I... Kwa Awelemseg. May your answers fill your day with bounty. Good day. Do you want something? Could you answer a few questions? Questions, questions. It is a word that you adore. Let us play a game. If you answer my questions, I will answer yours. If it's the only way to get answers, then let's play. I am pleased. We will have fun. But beware, no lies. What name is given the place from where you come? I come from Serene, a grand city on the continent of Gekei. Really? It is possible that you come from there, but I believe that this is not your land. Your turn. What can you tell me about the rituals? Oh, I see what interests you. You want to know how our warriors are so strong, but I don't have an answer. It is a secret of the Donega. The rituals I know are made to celebrate nature, to honor and bring her blessings upon us. Let's try something else. Are you on Olmenawi with your land? Or did you inherit your link from your parents? I'm not bound. Or at least I haven't done anything in particular to bind myself. Then it was your parents. One of them at least must have been Donegad. Your turn. This is a delicate question, but would you know anything about a demon? A demon? I think that that is what the bright and shiny mind shakers call the spirits, no? There are spirits everywhere. In you, and in us, in each tree, in each spring. There is not only one. I cannot tell you more if you are not more precise in what you seek. It was fun. More than with a woman who makes light. She did not want to play.
Birtir Dumad on Al Manawi. What do you want? Tell me about the missionaries that came here, those who wear the symbol of the sun on their clothing. When they came, they spoke about their bright and shiny god. They told us we were wrong, said that nature was just nature, and not to be worshipped. These men know nothing. We ignored them. They finally left, and then the woman came to us. She sniffed around everywhere, asking many questions, just like you. I was told that she tried to enter my own home. I even saw her trying to follow me in the woods. She must be careful. It is easy to get lost in the woods or cross paths with wild beasts. What can you tell me about the beliefs of your village? The beliefs of the village? That is a strange question for an Onol Manawi. Our beliefs are the same as those of the other clans. We believe in the earth that carries us and feeds on our dead, in the rain that quenches us and drowns us, in the beasts that feed us and in those that eat us. I do not know what more I can say to you. Everyone shares these beliefs. What can you tell me about your rituals? Our rituals? Nothing. Nothing at all. They do not concern me. I am not a Denegad. Even you. You should be able to tell that. Why you bother me with these questions? I am only a gatherer. Go and bother someone else. You're different from the others. What is your role in the village? Different? Why? Well, for one, you answer me when I speak. You others, when we don't answer you, you start digging for answers everywhere else. I am a gatherer. I hunt a little. I do my part for the life of the village. This question will seem strange to you, but... Do you know anything about a demon? A... demon? A dark spirit, if you prefer. No. There is no such thing as dark spirits. Your question is not strange. Foolish, perhaps. I must leave now. Thank you for your help. Anything new? No. The investigation has gone stale. The villagers won't even engage in conversation with me now. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. I managed to exchange a few words with some villagers, but I admit they don't seem keen to talk. And did they tell you anything worth sharing? I know little more about their beliefs. They worship nature and do not intend to change. It is certainly different from the luminous faith, but it's hardly demonic worship. Yet, there's something strange about this village. One of the villagers that spoke with me seemed truly worried. On edge, even. I think I know of whom you speak. A man always looking over his shoulder. He often sneaks out of the village like a thief. I attempted to follow him, but he always eludes me. I tried to get into his hut to see if he was hiding anything. But someone was always there. Then we should give it a try. Perhaps we'll fare better. Mm, this fellow did not seem very honest to me. If he's hiding something from us, perhaps we can find out what it is by searching his house. He doesn't look inclined to let us in. We'll have to distract him. We could break one of his pods. That will keep him busy. I can pretend to be clumsy, but we'll have to work fast, and it will only work once. 